I just got a fax from some guy who said he saw Stutter and John at the Pearl Jam concert last night arguing and shaking a girl. <laughs> Is that true? No, I wasn't shaking anybody. But he says he has videotape of it. <laughs> it's probably my girlfriend. You just told me you were fighting. Yeah, yeah, we were arguing, but I wasn't shaking. Because here you shook her. I, I, I did go to like, you know, because I told you, we were up in the 300s, right? Yeah. And everybody's looking at me and Gary yelling at you know, about booing, whatever. And, uh... And 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 everyone's looking at somebody like me and Ke you know me and Ken start arguing. So I go to like hug her to just like stop the argument. She wouldn't come over, you know. So I'm trying to pull her over to me. Oh yeah, it sounds like shaking to me. Look <laughs> at <laughs> that retard. You're lucky. What are you arguing about? You had a concert. Was he listening to the music? Know, you know, we, what is she yapping about? We, we just like dumb arguing, like real just dumb arguing. Yeah. Like, so do we get, get married? Oh, do I get into it's like, them? It's like it, I, my day is filled with that. <laughs> it's like if you drive with her and like and, and, and if I hit a pothole, it's like what are you doing? <laughs> you know? Yeah, like that's your fault. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm constantly criticized <laughs> all day and night. I do everything wrong. I remember when I did everything right. Yeah, you remember I mean, you, back then. It was about far. 20 years ago. <laughs> Before you were married, you never argued? Hardly ever. Oh, come on. I'm telling you. Really? Is that true, Howard? Yep. She saved it up for when we got married. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, when I made $96 a week, I was a prince. He never said a bad thing. Yeah. It's my man. I get criticized a lot. Because basically, I just like to sit around. My wife likes to do stuff. So, you know, there's that little problem. Yeah, I thought about you this weekend. I had, like, one of those cultural-filled weekends. You know, yeah. Doing everything, the whole real New York thing. Yeah. And I thought, gee, you know, you guys should be doing some of this stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, thought, I, I, thought I, I thought that you, I thought you were going to Pearl Jam. No, I can't go on a Sunday night. I got to work. Can't go. You ever try to uh, talk after you've been to a concert? You can't open your mouth. You have to try to talk in general. Oh, well, yeah, you. No, I have to get some sleep before I come in and do this mess. <laughs> Believe it or not, this actually requires sleep. Do you know what they do at clubs now? Some of these clubs. No, now, I don't get to go to clubs. They actually frisk you before you go. You know, like, I mean, they really pat these guys down. Oh, yeah, they, they, they frisk you before the project does. Really? Yeah, they, just, they, they, you know, they pat you down. Do they? Yeah. That's not feel good. I guess. <laughs> Do they I, touch your it's genitals? No, not not your genitals, but they just like you know pat all your pockets and make sure you don't you're, mm. you're not spot you know. You got to stand there and spread your arms. Robin, did you ever think that these guys see your chest and then start frisking you? No, that didn't happen to me. Uh, I come on, <laughs> if I saw your cans, but no, when they see I'd women, you know what they too. say? Oh, excuse me, we have to bring a woman out. You're like, I want a woman rubbing me. Those oh, chest mm. scream yeah. frisk me. Yeah. You know, those are, those are hidden weapons. Excuse me, we're going to bring a woman out there and watch her rub you. Can I take a video of that? Hi, yo. Hi, yo. So what happened? Your mom's here? Yeah, yeah my mom's here. and John's mother, in all the years he's been with us, has never met me. Isn't that amazing? I prefer it that way. Oh, she's, she, she's been wanting to meet you. Girl, can you bring her in? Is that right? Yeah, it's all right. For a second, because i got to get to news. What's your name again? Asso? Uh, <laughs> no, what's your name? Seriously, I, I can't remember. What is it? Osa. Oso? Yeah, it, it's spelled A-A-S-E. A-A-S-E? Yeah. Why don't you just get an American name? Well, you know, I, I, you know, I, every every letter she gets, they spell it wrong. Your mom's always sending me beautiful gifts for thanking me yeah. for taking you in. Yeah, she loves you. Yeah, I don't blame her. Because <laughs> ever since you're with us, at least she makes hey, some money. You give him good advice. You straightened him out in so many things. Yeah. She could never yeah, did, teach him. Did, did you see the things I gave you on my album? Yeah, I saw that. Did you like it? It was all right. What did he say to you about? It wasn't you? that great. Oh, yes, it was. You thanked other people more. No, I thanked you for your help, your guidance. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't. See it as being that great. Hey, girl, you getting her? Your mother evidently never could get through to you. You're very cute. What do you mean? Well, I mean, she could never advise you. Took me. Let's see your mother. It's oh, wow. There she is. Hi. Mrs. Melendez. Nice meeting you. I don't feel comfortable calling you Asa. No. Hey, what if, is that her name? name? Osa. Osa. Okay, thank you. Mrs. Melendez, you don't want to take your clothes no. off, do you? Oh, <laughs> not yet. I'm on a diet. <laughs> All right. Am I, am I talking to the mic? Okay. Good, John. 
Does it end up paying the neck when your parents are around? Because you, now you like worry about them and stuff, not embarrassing you. Uh, oh yeah. This yeah. is like school. See, later, mom used to come. People to come to my house to like you know fans. Yeah. And she and she comes up to my room and gets me out of bed. I know my mom <laughs> would do the same thing. Say hello. I was in the end of a movie and I didn't want to miss it. I said, "So you take care of it." Well, you can't believe that actually anyone would even come and be a fan of his, right? Uh, I don't know. Well, first of all, you're a very nice woman, yeah, and you know what? You're, you're, you you you've always sent me beautiful things for taking care of your son, and that uh, I, that was very nice of you. Yeah. But believe, I'm ready to give him back to you. <laughs> I'm very happy. So, you, so you're proud yeah. of him, and yeah. you're glad of everything. That Do you he's like done? his music? Um, no. Uh, two of them. Two yeah. of the songs. Well, listen, you're not you're not it's in like the target a, audience. No, it's like a ballad. I'm all opera. <laughs> right. So, um, well, you're proud of your boy. As a matter of fact, you always put down Pavarotti, and uh, I used to want to call in because he's my favorite singer. Well, I'll tell you something. <laughs> I, I don't understand. I did see Pavarotti at the Rainforest That's concert, true. and it was very good. So what can I say? Yeah. Now, tell me something. What caused the stuttering, do you think? Was it the beatings or the malnutrition? <laughs> What was it? What do you think caused uh, the stuttering? Let's see. The beating. Now, what age? What age did you notice that he started stuttering? Did Mrs. you drop him or what? He was, yeah, uh, very young. Very young. And, uh, yeah, I think he had three older brothers and sisters, and um, and they were all they fine. They never let him finish. And they never. Is that what it was? They didn't. Yeah. They cut him off from talking. Yeah, that's what they say. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that would did cause it. Did he stutter in his very first word? Uh, Did he go, m m m m mommy He started three weeks old to talk. He, I mean, he just was lying there all the time, never woke up crying, and he hasn't stopped talking since. Right. <laughs> and, you, and you're saying that, uh, what age did you know he was a stutterer? Uh, I think it was uh, first grade already he was taking speech. Really? Yeah. First grade? Yeah. Yeah. From first grade on you tried to teach because him? Because he was in a show, and uh, when I walked in, they had seen the show in the afternoon, and then at night when I walked in, I said, He's the one who takes speech and he stutters and he, he can sing so good. Right. Well, there he is. And, and oh, the stuttering, though, made him famous, didn't it? Yeah, you did. You even call him Stuttering John, am I correct? Uh, I, don't, I don't think so. <laughs> well, say whatever you feel, don't worry. Yeah. He, no, you do. You I, call, don't, I don't call him Stuttering John. You don't? John. No, but a lot of people come and ask me if he stutters. Yeah. And it annoys him if uh, they don't believe it. Of course, who wants to stutter if they didn't have to? And here you are. You were born in another country. <laughs> you were born in another country, and you yeah. speak better than your own son who was born in this country. Isn't that funny? I, I didn't yeah. know she had an accent until I was like 16. Really? <laughs> no, he says words that he doesn't know he got from me that are said in a different way. Right. And uh, you think it's because he doesn't know English, but it's really he got it from me the way he pronounced things. And you are Danish, right? Yeah, yes. and my name is Oza. Oza, and, and Oza. <laughs> after the ozone layer in the sky? Uh, no, Oza. three more letters in there. He can't play the guitar and he can't sing a lick. That's just what I want to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie, Leslie West, West popping in. Leslie West popping in is scaring me. Do you look like a skeleton? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a ghost. <laughs> I got a thing for you. Uh, thank you. Johnny was supposed to bring you a long time ago. Oh, thank you. All right. Let's, oh, look at that. Howard. <laughs> She's been telling me to bring that in for what so long. What is that? Your mother gave me a poster. It's how the Danish saved the Jews. In the, in the war. Oh. I'm so proud of it. Oh, isn't that nice? <laughs> 50 years after that. Howard has always yeah. hated them for that. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't like the Danes for years. So, um, uh, and then you came to this country and you married a Puerto Rican, true? Yeah, isn't that awful? And did you, yes. <laughs> And didn't your and your parents back then must have gone out of their minds? No, you? we had no prejudice in Denmark, and they didn't even know. Really? No. They had no idea. No. They had no idea he was a Puerto Rican. <laughs> they didn't know that. So boy, those Americans talk funny. No. Hey, hey, my my yeah. Siri refrigerator was it? Refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she has an accent. <laughs> you got you got to hear some. No, <laughs> but your mother. Used to say, is I used to say I ice box just to get away with. <laughs> I see. Well, anyway, Mrs. Yeah. Melendez, it's a pleasure to meet you. Same here. Thank you. Uh, I uh, listen. You are a mother who has done a fine job, at least with her other children. <laughs> I think he's doing good. No, he's doing fine. You did a very good job. You'd be yeah. very proud of yourself. It he's just a nice took kid. Him Twenty-eight years to grow up. Right. I know. I know. Now he's very I'm mature. Since fourteen, he's always been a hard worker. And does it break your heart when you see he urinates in public? And yeah. does yeah. the signs, the tickets. That kills yeah. me. It, 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 it yeah. pains you, right? I thought he knew better than that. Why don't you straighten up, you dope? Seriously, <laughs> why don't you straighten up in front of your mother? <laughs> well, it's true. I often said he is such a lovely mother. Right. Oh, thank you. And well, how could he have grown up to be such a, a, a savage? Nitwit. A savage. You're savage. Uh, Obviously, your mother babied you too much. <laughs> well, I don't baby you, do I? Uh, no, I must I say, every time Robin said to you, you didn't meet his mother yet? Right. And I said to John, you may tell Robin she can say that I'm fat. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, you got a nice body. You've got a good body on you. You got a hot body. I'm coming, you know. You you have anorexia. You think you're fat. That's your problem. You need to eat more. You're looking in the mirror. You're thinking the wrong way. You look beautiful. Believe me. You got that waif look. Thank you. You got the waif look. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Melendez, I wasn't going to say this, but you have very nice breasts. Yeah. I'm looking okay. at them. Very nice. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Used to What's the matter, John? Uh, well, you know what? Yeah. No one has met John's father. No, uh, no, we, I don't he's hidden away. Yeah, I, 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 I think I want to keep him in. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, uh, do I have to take a break here? Let me take a break. We'll come back. We'll do the news for you right after these words. What do you want, Fafa Fui? Well, we got a couple of song parodies. We have a Susan Smith. Good. Parody. All right, I know we got a bunch of things to get to. Let me take a break. And Stuttering Vic. Stuttering Vic's date and uh I gotta hear that. He had yeah. a date with that girl who called? Is that who it was? And maybe we ought to calm down Stuttering John, our other intern who uh. is like freaking out because uh I brought up his Prozac <laughs> incident. <laughs> is he really freaking out? Yeah. Well, you know, it's no help when Fred Norris gets on the intercom yesterday and says Stuttering John, your Prozac's up front. <laughs> Did you really? Yeah. I heard John pulled you in and, and said, hey, I'm really mad at you, and you kind of apologized to him and stuff. No, no, he wasn't mad at me. I went and apologized before he jumped off a ledge. What was going on? To describe the no, scene. I was just making a joke, and then Robin said, so I don't think it's a good idea. And I go, and John oh, slammed the door in your face? Yeah, well, I walked by. I tried to him, talk yeah. to him, Her, yeah. and uh, he just didn't get the joke at all. He thought this was really not funny, and uh, he slammed a door in my face. You know what, Alex? <laughs> but what, I don't understand him. Here's a guy who talks about peeing after drinking beer yeah. in the street. He talks about that he's tried every drug. You know, once I went to a restaurant and 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 and, 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 and the tip was included, like fifty percent, fifty percent tip, whatever. Yeah. So here's a guy who goes around talking about he's sampled drugs. I mean, I talk about it. Gary admitted that he tried. Yeah. Coke and stuff. Oh. stuff. But he told what he was screaming to me was his mother was probably at home crying. Right. right. But why? I mean, yeah. but but he's made her cry probably a million times. Then. He, he told me that in Tony and Tina's wedding when yeah. he does the show that like he has to smoke a cigarette and his mom came to see him and his mom was really bummed out that he was smoking a cigarette even though he doesn't even inhale. But John, how can you be upset? Don't stand in front of my camera. I'll be, I'll be very angry. Uh, there's a very uh, there's a, very, uh, there's a okay. case of drug addiction in my family. I mean, there's what? case of drug addiction in my family. Yeah. And so why? But, what, so but you've it, it tried just, everything. No, I haven't. You told me you tried mescaline. Yeah, I, I, I tried mescaline. I, 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 yeah. well, well, that's pretty intense. Uh, uh, yeah, but, you know, I mean, it was, you know... Wouldn't that make your mother cry more? Yeah. But I, I, I never told her that either. I, I never so said that. You said it was, yesterday on the air. I, I think I said that, uh, that mescaline, it, it, it isn't like me trying mescaline. I don't oh. know what you said, but you said you did mescaline. Yeah. No, 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 I said I didn't do mescaline. And I now really, you I really don't... need Prozac, you're so upset. Do <laughs> you have any idea how funny he is? Did you hear the whole thing with what he has to do in Tony and Tina's wedding? No. <laughs> he has to... He has to snort fake cocaine. It's part of his character. Yeah. So he's been snorting this fake cocaine, and he finally put it together after two or three weeks in this play that he's been snorting laxative. He says, I can't believe it. Ever since I started this play, I'm going to the bathroom every two minutes. Oh, you're kidding. <laughs> finally, so says, John, and they put laxative, laxative in it? Laxative. Why would they get, let you snort laxative? So far, I do it three times today. <laughs> I said Are you joke. serious? <laughs> I said the joke. Why are they giving you laxative? No, because no, no, the, because the fake cocaine is lactose or something. It's supposed to be, it's, it's, uh, it's you know, it's, uh, what you put <laughs> Excrement inducive or something. Yeah, yeah, Excrement? Excrement. <laughs> but he doesn't ask. He doesn't say, hey, wait a second. What am I for, snorting? For a month, I'm going to be snorting something. What's in here? Well, you would assume that the guy did it before me. It's got to be, it's got to be, you know, legit. Where is the guy before <laughs> it you? It is legit. Yeah, he does. So you've been going to the bathroom like three or four times a day? I, I, th I think it's all now like uh, five times in like five hours when I get back from the play. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> and you're snorting laxatives? Yeah. I'd rather snort cocaine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It has less side effects. No, I mean, you, you've you always been open about getting drunk and smoking pot. It's just been very, um, it's been very so sensitive so issue because uh, my mother... How would we know this? My, yeah. Well, I, I just would say, I mean, it's not, it's no big deal today what, like it was yesterday, you know? Just oh, like, you're yeah. still not talking to me. You know, Robin, Robin, Robin... I think you're just looking to be mad at Robin. Yeah, I think No, 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 not at all, not at all. Why are you mad at Robin? Because she, sometimes, she knows the, uh, the, uh, the <laughs> drug addiction in my family. Like, I do? I, yes. And I've discussed it with her privately, so I would think that she would maybe. You think she remembers what you discussed? I, I, you know, you know, she's got. She only have... thinks about herself, like I do. I know that. Well, she's, but I, I would think, you know, you know, Grill and Ganji, obviously, you know, the, you know, the both of them don't oh, couldn't fill one head, but, but you know, what? Well, I mean, I don't expect them to what? think because wait, they're not Wait a second, wait a back up. How did Gorilla and Ganji uh, get uh, in? The whole uh, thing started uh, was, was was by. I that. never spoke to Gorilla. Yeah, and no, but they told Robin. That's and, not true. You don't know that. Yes, I do. You do not. You don't know how I told me that. 
I never told you anything. Oh, NBC told. <laughs> <laughs> you had a meeting with the. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So anyway, she's the one who told you. It doesn't matter who told. Who See what happened was John. All right, so John. So so what so happened? So, so the point is, she, let, let me just she say something. Perform, no, let, let me say something. Some discretion. If you try perform some discretion. Yes. <laughs> I thought. That's, All right. The, 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 Listen to me. That, that was my opinion of it. I did. <laughs> now you're a stutterer. I mean, what's next? It, look, well, I had a syringe in my apartment, and you know, I mean, I would talk about it. I would well, take him to get help. We were taking. Get help. Yeah, we take you to help. I, I mean, I about mean, when I you know got it from Jackie, I didn't mention you know all, all the like pictures of him you know banging pumpkins or anything. You know, you know what I'm saying? What? What? <laughs> Nothing. You, you had to delete that because I'm probably getting. That's all right. You could say uh, uh, you could say banging pumpkins. I don't know. So we would, that, that, all I'm that saying is when I got Jackie's apartment. Who knows what I could have found, but I would have used some discretion. If I would have found a syringe, I wouldn't have went, hey, Howard, guess what, Jackie's shooting heroin. I would, I would have said, Jackie, is there a problem? You know, I, you know, off the air, I said, you know. No, 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 wait a second. You, you had mentioned to me on many occasions the, the that you were thinking of trying Prozac. Yeah. Because you read somewhere that it was good a... For you, good for you. Good for you. Yeah, I heard it was like the... I won the drug. Okay. <laughs> It was, like, it was like a what? And I told you, that's stupid. Prozac can't make you play the guitar better. Not, 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 no, but just like, you know, it's like, I thought it was just going to, you know, you're, like you're taking it, like, like, like ecstasy almost, you know? All right. But, but, I, but right, you so know, you tried it once, and it didn't uh, do anything, and you gave it up. Yeah. So what's the big deal? Well, because... What are you getting all up to? Put it this way, I haven't heard from my mom now in two days, and I don't even want to, I, I don't even want to go, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't want to get into it. But she knows you've tried other things. She doesn't know that. How, she doesn't? She's like, she's... So when you, she used to hold up bags, of, you know, a marijuana, and I used to say, "Hey, uh, that's just Bruce's." I've been trying to tell him to stop smoking. Oh, she would, she would buy I see, them. I see. Your mother's as dumb as my mother. <laughs> oh. And you know, and and then like, I'm, I, and, and don't forget, I'm the shining, I'm, I'm the, I'm the shining light of the family. <laughs> Yo, man. Oh, man. So, what a mess. So, Are you really? Oh, oh hands well. down. Really? Wait, wait, I, you're I, famous or something? Well, no, I'm. I, you know, I, I completed college. I didn't. You know, I didn't. I, I, I I'm still I, talking I, to I, my I, parents. I, 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 Right. Uh, you know, uh, Something uh, tell him to relax. Can you imagine the light of the family is a drunken, pot smoking, Prozac taking guy? <laughs> <laughs> it's the light of the family. Hey, yeah, at least, you know, it ain't a chimpanzee. <laughs> oh, oh, all right. Okay, I, this has gone far enough. It's getting personal. ugly. It's the battle of the titans here. Right. I'm not, not, I'm, not, I'm not as bummed as I was yesterday. Because right. you, you were running around here acting well, like, like, like a baby. Try to act like your normal hey. self, a normal 12-year-old. <laughs> All right? Okay. He was bummed, though. He was really bummed. Yeah, I heard you were slamming doors in people's I faces. Slamming, and... just, you know, Robin loves... Robin, this is Robin's deal, Howard, and you don't understand. Her deal is no matter how mad if I'm upset about something, even if it's totally legitimate to be upset about, she'll pull you aside and convince you that you're wrong and she is right. right. She has this thing to do. So I, I, oh, I just didn't even want to get involved in that discussion. I wanted to be mad and enjoy myself being mad. Yeah, that's what and, I love and, her for. And, you know, and I don't want to. And I don't want to hear her like, like this twisted rationale. And then she says, you know, and I'm, I'm telling you, you ain't normal. Don't think you're normal for this. Life. You are not normal because she loves to do this anytime. Right. And, you know, if I'm upset with anything, let's say I'm upset because Jackie stole twenty bucks from me. She'll sit me down and say, well, it's really your fault because you left your <laughs> you left the wallet out, right. and you shouldn't have because that way now you screwed up. Because you, should, because, you be, because you trusted your wallet being out. So that's the hard thing is trying to convince me of always that I'm wrong. Right. You know what there, I'm saying? There is a sitcom in Robin and John's little meetings. I'm yeah. telling you. They are some well, twisted I, meetings. I, believe me. I, I, like, wanna, I, mean, I don't want to see that But I, I don't claim to be normal, but I'm telling you, she is not normal. She's a crazy woman. All right. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> and Fred's weirder than all of you. Oh. But Fred, what do you think of I tell you, Fred had the most... Rational dis I had the most rational discussion with it. And what? Yes. That's with Fred? Amazing. Yeah, I had, had a very good discussion. What happened? You were Fred. upset and Fred calmed you down? Not only did he calm me down, you know, he, he, he provided some insight into the whole. How uh, long did he talk to you for? For about 20 minutes. And it was he said all kinds of time. Yeah, no, but it was a very nice discussion. It actually, you know, it, it was, you know. You were calm when you left? Guy. I felt bad. Yeah, I was calm. I made the joke. And then Robin starts that. throwing. Uh, I don't tell you, she starts throwing some wacky letters at me to try and compare me to like the most craziest guy that we know. You know what I'm saying? I got. You know what? I'm going to take a break. All right. And thank you. And I just wanted just to know how you're doing. Calm down. Yeah, I'm all right. You do need Prozac. No. Oh. Well, you no. need it. Well, now you know. It, uh, what happened? Your girlfriend got pissed off at you? Well, the first day that I freaking obtained it. Really? She like started crying and thought I was like a drug addict. Ooh. So, so Howard, what what ended up happening was John takes these pills and hides them behind his toilet and just forgets that they're there. Yeah, because I, I stopped then, doing it. I did the, the next guy that went over to the apartment go, what the hell is this? This is yeah. Prozac with John's but name I mean, on who's it. next? I, you, know, you know, what's next? It could be like, who knows what else is in that apartment, you know what I'm saying? Well, what are, what are you doing with all these things in your apartment? Why are you hiding? Why are you hiding things? Because I... I 
Well, I put it there because you know Karen was was over you know that that day, I, and, and I know. you know so I so I just figured she, the, the, the one place a Jap ain't gonna go is reach behind the, my toilet. You know what I'm saying? Jap. <laughs> <laughs> but John, but John's absolutely right. <laughs> Karen threatened to leave him. She's the only one with any sense. She threatened to leave him right. if he didn't stop taking Prozac. <laughs> <laughs> She's good for you, man. Uh, yeah, she flipped out. You know, so so then I. So, so, How's her body? Still holding up? Yeah. Yeah. She's only 23. Is no, she? Oh, Gary, man. How old is she? I don't want to be there when the change happens. She's 26. Ah! Right. Oh, good. No, no, she's actually lost a little weight. Really? Yeah. Mm, she's got a great bond in your girlfriend. But what about, I mean, because the thing was that uh, Gangi and Gorilla, I guess, were moving into the apartment or something, and now John wasn't right. even going to Well, Howard, right, let, let me just say. I, so what happened? You threatened to throw those no, guys out? I, I've been threatening them for the last few weeks because every day they have a new problem. And the other day they go, because I'm renting an apartment and they want to put in a new floor. They want me to pay for the new floor. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because, you know, I feel like say, I'm renting to them. Now I should, I should buy the new floor. You know, it's like, hey, give me a break. Then, then, and, and they're all renting. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but, they see but, you off the chip. And in. then uh, it just, you know, I just can see already. What kind of new floor? What are those guys looking to set up house or something? Yeah, they're, they're like painting. Dive. And they, you know, you the painting. Just, what are they? A bunch of little girls? The cheapest apartment that those two guys will ever find in their entire life. This is like, this is like a. Unbelievable that these guys can afford to live in the city and they're complaining. What is it, Gorilla? Well, hey, I, I don't have time for this. All right. John, get the hell off the camera, will you? Use your head. Uh, All right, thank you. I'm a big star. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, I, I'm yeah. done with this. You know, I don't even really care, to be honest. I got a million things to get to. I got phone calls to get to. I, I don't want to hear about the interns. No, the you one know, thing I want to get to the interns was, from wait hell. Wait a minute, wait a minute, because that was the big. I didn't care that he was mad at me. Right. I cared I that he know. was trying to affect the lives of these other. You know, he's well, listen, now a power no, broker. No, no, it isn't like about. Like aren't you the same lives. guy? Thank you. Aren't you the same guy who put a hidden tape? On, on Are you gorilla? the same guy? And you the same guy who's done that? Who my first day here did put a tape behind me on a right? Conversation. So what's a big deal? Because I just think all the time because here. like listen, the owner of the station comes up to me yeah. after this and goes, "Hey, John, uh, you know what's going on? You, you know you like into this drug thing or what?" He's yanking your but, crank. I mean, you know, what are you a dope? <laughs> are you stupid? We all know you tried it one pill. So big deal. Four. Four. A oh, four pill. But the point is, I have to deal with like, and then I think like Tom like gave me a, like a weird look. I don't think I'm like an idiot now. You know, <laughs> everyone thinks you're an idiot anyway. Well, they don't. I'm, oh, I'm a very oh, intelligent of person. No, you're not. Jesus. Look at Jackie. <laughs> All right, thank you. I uh, please just let them move into the apartment and leave it all alone. No, because let me tell you something. A guy that underneath me, when I used to tap my foot a little bit, would call security on me. Now the guy just passed away yesterday. <laughs> all right, guy, okay, who cares? All right, I gotta go. I gotta take. A, I don't know. I gotta take a break. I don't even. I mean, Ganji, I might, I might trust a little bit more grill, but you know, this guy's gonna make. You know, if if they screw up there, I get thrown out. Put it that way. And, okay. you know, maybe it's not a good selection to have. Maybe, maybe some girls. All right, all right. Who cares? I might be interested. I don't know what he's talking about. Well, this is who you're trying to make sense No, the today. point right, is... I've got to take a break. I know. I've got to take a break. i got to take a break. I just don't know how responsible they're going to be. He, you know, girls have a job. How all right. Pay for the apartment? How are you going to pay for an apartment? What are you doing with an apartment? I thought you live in the dorms. Well, yeah, I, I, I work at that club, Expo. Yeah. And... That's how I... That, that job's hanging on a shoestring. <laughs> and I'm also a male brat to do it. <laughs> hey, buddy, you want a hot dog or me? <sighs> well, I... I that, that's how I make money right now, so... What? As a male prostitute? As a male prostitute, <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I wish. I wish. $40. So you're going to be able to pay for an apartment? Yeah. Yeah. You're letting him in? I, I, I like Ganji, and then suddenly I found out Ganji's roommate is Grillo, and you know that that, that scares me. Grillo is Ganji's Gangi's room? roommate. I mean, Ganji I know is like is stupid, but he, he at least has a job. Right. You know, but now Grillo, you know, is a little bit more. And you don't even like Grillo. You're gonna live I, with uh, him? That's the, you know, that's the whole thing. I mean, we don't really get along in, out here, and now I gotta like badger him to get paid for rent. I, I you know, what I mean, I don't want to. Do I, I, I've always been good with all my bills. If I got a bill to pay, I save my money and I pay it. Well, what are you doing with your dorm room? Didn't you pay for that? Yeah, but it, it's, I, I can't stay at school forever. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, you're staying here forever. I know, but I, that's true. <laughs> uh, all right, very good. we got to oh, take a break. Boy. I'm not going to get into the intern thing. I'm also saving uh -huh. up for implants. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be back right after these words. We're coming up to the 4th of July weekend. No. I've yeah. already warned you that it's summer and you must become pool savvy. I am pool savvy. Ask me any question about pools. Do you leave your children unattended, alone, Never. by a pool? Never. Am I an idiot? How long after a meal do you dive in? 
<laughs> right after. Right. I really do. My kids even say, Dad, you're going to vomit. I go, what? Do I look like I'm swimming the channel here? <laughs> then I'm in a pool. I'm relaxing on a raft. What is it? Is never bothered Dominic, let's tell you about the trial. <laughs> Dominic? <laughs> oh, what is with it? This guy loves air Our time. Our legal yeah. correspondent. Like, Does he see what time it is? I'm trying to mellow out here. There. I'm off that story. Does he know anything about pool things? You know, as soon as he hears I'm on vacation, Dominic calls me yesterday, right? Yeah. He goes, <sighs> so how it? Cards tonight. Oh, really? No, he said that? Tonight, he wants to play cards tonight. I go, Dominic, I'm going to be sh out shooting all day. I'm going to be tired. I can't play that. So he goes, Friday night card game or AC. Friday, we go to AC. <laughs> I go, Dominic. Hello? How you doing? Yeah. I go, Do I said, Dominic, Friday, I'm writing all day. I'm, I'm going to be in discussion with the writer of my movie. We're, you know, we're moving ahead on this thing. We, you know, we want to have a first draft by July 10th. Ah, oh, come on, you gotta take a break off. Everyone wants to go. I go, who's everyone? He hasn't called anyone. No, he doesn't. He's called the regular guys. He go. wants to go. Dan wants to go. Who, Dan? Yeah. yeah. Doesn't he work at Channel 4 News? Yeah, he'll go. Ronnie will go. Larry. Ronnie. Ronnie's attached to my hip, I think. I gotta get uh, the Siamese twin operation. Geraldo's going? Geraldo. Geraldo. He's joining the trip. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I said, I can't go for it. I said, I got a whole two weeks off. So, is he still going? Uh, no, I don't know. He's I... waiting for me to do something. He goes, all right, all right, I'll call you. No. All right, thank you for the call. Ah. He got cut off. He got cut off. Uh, uh, yeah. Warning. My yeah. other warning, my 4th of July warning. Is don't about... go to Jackie's party because those clams are bad. No. Is that it? Uh, fireworks. Oh, fireworks. <laughs> yeah, Jackie's into fireworks. Yes, yeah. he's one of the people I have to warn. You know you have to warn he Stuttering John. He may come John. back without his head. You gotta warn Stuttering John. Every year he goes down to that that uh, cocked up beach at Jackie's. Yes. And he lights off bottle rockets into my face. He keeps the population down. <laughs> yeah, he sure does. Well, he gets all the illegal ones. He gets the cherry bomb, the aerial bombs, and the M80s, which are already. You know what I hope happens to you, John? I hope you blow your fingers illegal. off so you can't uh -huh. play guitar anymore. Yeah, I'm getting a whole bunch of stuff. Are you? <laughs> yeah, for Jackie's uh, party. Gonna outdo and he always says he knows how to light it off and stuff. Hey, Meanwhile, it goes into the crowd. No, no, no. I, I, a I, I, look at this. 12,600. Uh, what? 12,600 medical emergencies every year from fireworks that include uh, head injuries. Amputations and burns. There were three deaths reported last year. If I played guitar for a hobby like John does, mm -hmm. I would. The last thing you would do. The last thing I would do is sit there and like bottle rock. I'm getting, I'm getting a six inch, six inch mortars for this. Uh, is that right? Sorry. What is that? It's like this, you have these big six inch tubes, right? These big steel pipes, oh, and, no. and, and, and oh. the things, they're like nuts. They're round. And it's, and with, 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 it's a long fuse. Wow. It's a mortar, and you, and you light it, you throw it in the tube, and boom, and, and it you shoots up. It's like Gucci stuff. Wound. Is that right? Yeah. Is it look cold? Is there a lot of colors in it? Yeah, tell Jackie. Tell him how it looks. Does that sound like fun? <laughs> well, let good. me just say this. And Jackie la great. lays there like a bloated whale in a pot. Uh, <laughs> well, he doesn't out. even care. He goes, oh, this is great. <laughs> Jackie drinks and smokes pot right in front of his mom. You know? Hey, 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 hey. Uh, I share with her. <laughs> there so are some... I'm trying to warn you, John. Believe me, I wish my mother was more like Jackie's mother. <laughs> there are some fireworks that are legal that are being recalled, Howard. Like? They're called the Gorilla Bomb 2. Ho, <laughs> ho. <laughs> Bombard. 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 And the Bombard 7 shot. Bombard 7 shot. As well as the alien invasion. What about the nigger chasers? Oh, Remember those? They are not on my list. <laughs> nigger chasers. Do you have any of those? Uh, I know, but you can make homemade uh, nigger chasers. You just got to pull a, the stick off a bottle. You know there's a, a firework? I told you about this. Yeah. That are called nigger chasers. Yeah, you get them all the time. No, Howard, I didn't know that. Yeah, you want to say it one more time? But <laughs> nigger chasers? Do you know that? I used to say it on the actual wrapper. Really? Yeah, yeah, and, it was, and it would spin around. Like you just put it in the middle of like a group. Hey, don't shoot the messenger. He's just telling you. Rapper. <laughs> hey, come on. He didn't make them. He just spotlights them off. <laughs> now, what is, can they the actually story? chase black people? Well, it's no. They it's chase a, John. Supposedly, it goes after the black person in the crowd. You know. Yeah. Did you How ever does see it know? work? No, I, I haven't seen it work. No. <laughs> but then again, I didn't, I didn't have a black person well, in the crowd. What is it? Right. Actually. Nobody ever. What? What? What is it? It's, it's just, just a bottle it, rocket, it, right? No, no, no. It's like a little. It's like no, no, it, it, it's it's about six it's inches long. Yeah. And it just goes around in circles and goes. Wee, 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 and there, it, does it shoot off colors? No. And then yeah, Sparkler. it scurries around. No, it scurries around and suddenly it shoots out and, and, oh, it, and, it'll, and it'll blow up. I didn't know that was called a nigger chaser. Yeah, it used to be. 
Is that right? In John's neighborhood. That's what it says in the wrapper. No, it used to say it a long time ago. It really did. Yeah, yeah it did. Yeah, it did. It was called the nigga chases. Well, we should be very proud of that in this country. Uh, anyway. Hey, come on. <laughs> I didn't invent the firework. <laughs> I'm not yelling at you, John. Get I'm yelling at you. <laughs> But they're calling, recalling these particular <laughs> models of fireworks, Howard, because there's a danger that they may tip over and injure the users. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, John. John, I, I, you know, because I go to Jackie's party. I went once. That was that was enough. That was enough. All right. And I'm laying on a beach with like a, a hundred thousand white trash all on top of me. <laughs> Isn't Jenny beautiful? They don't have any white trash. I try to. All I know is I try to lay down in my wife's lap, put my head down in it, like be a little romantic. Next thing I know, I got a transsexual jumping on top of me. Oh. Who Jackie says is okay. Yeah. The worst part about Jackie's beach is Neil. Neil was throwing rocks at her. Him, whatever. <laughs> it. it. And I said, that's not right. That's gay bashing. And he said, f you. I'm throwing rocks. <laughs> that was it. They weren't pebbles either. You no. Big rocks. Big rocks. I'm gonna aim. I'm. I'm, 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 I'm I'll forget it. What? No, I was, I'm going to aim my mortars at Jackie's dinghy. <laughs> I love watching him. Oh. Never gets old. Never. But you, you have a lie on Jackie's beach. It's like, it's like, it's like full of sharp rocks. And yeah. Stuff. You can even like, it's it's it is. There. Robin and I were there. You can't even walk in your bare feet or anything. No, you got. I wear heavy construction boots on Jackie's <laughs> beach. World's most gorgeous beach. And oh yeah, Jackie runs down there barefoot. He doesn't care. He cuts himself. Whee! He jumps right in the water. I was with Jackie in California. He had octopus bites <laughs> on his arms I and swear legs. You, in 46 years, I have never gotten uh, bitten by anything. Uh, uh, and the day before we went to Hollywood uh, Squares, yeah. you were I alive. swam through a jellyfish twice. All I know is. I and we're out there, and the people in California. That was no, no jellyfish. Idea. That had to be it was a Portuguese one of those animal. monsters from from the Japanese movies. <laughs> it was Predator. Yeah, Predator. <laughs> I'm out there with tentacle marks. He, had, he had, <laughs> takes off his shirt, and I go, Jackie, you've got your horrible skin disease. He goes, What? <laughs> and he looks it's like tentacle marks all over him. He didn't even know they were there. Yeah, it was in that stupid ugly water of his. What is? It? Is that a sound or a? The Long Island Sound. It's beautiful. Is Tom it? from Sound no way. will be br bringing the clams, by the way. Is that right? Yes. Was that the guy who gave you the free thing? What? Soundmaster? Oh, oh, no, no, no. Soundmaster has nothing to do with sound. It's the people that are in charge of keeping the Long Island Sound beautiful. Oh, I see. Didn't you notice how beautiful it's been for the last ten years? It no, I haven't seen it. Now it's gorgeous. Really? I don't know about it's that. It's a beautiful body of water. People that He's are out there. defensive for the body of water. Yeah, I do. Because everybody, the value of his house. Everybody that's down. out there is like, how can Howard badmouth this place? This place is so gorgeous. It's the most I'll come out. Place. I'm going to come out to your house during Jackie, the vacation. are they looking at where you live? And jet ski. I, I really want you to. I bought gonna, water skis, too. We'll go water right. skiing, well, jet skiing. I mean, that's what you think. And then you can have a great time and then come on the air and say how it sucks. Hey, I'll, no, I'll, no, I'll come on if, if it's clean and I'll say so. I just don't want tentacle marks all over my body. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I and I'm certainly not now. going out 4th of July to watch John light off his stupid fireworks in my face. Yeah, because you'll get hit. He anyway. is so overdue to set his hair on fire. I with know. With his long, floppy shorts and his hair right. flying John in the gets breeze. real high. He's wasted. He does everything you're not supposed to do when you light off fireworks. You're not supposed to light off fireworks to begin with. And you're not supposed to be as drunk as he is when he does Yeah, and he's loaded out of his mind, and he starts lighting them, and then all of a sudden, the next thing you know, John's hair is almost on yeah. fire. He's got ashes, you know, those little lit ashes I told in you, the one hair. time, a guy, unbeknownst to me, went and put a three-inch mortar in my six-inch pipe, and the thing blew up right on the ground, and that was probably the most dangerous thing that ever happened. All I know is, the best part of Fourth of July is when you come back the following weekend, and all the news shows have report on how many people blew their yeah, fingers off. Yeah, that's my favorite day. <laughs> It's great. It's just great. Go down to the beach and pick up fingers. But, and it's always grown adults. It's not, it's not like some kids. Oh, exactly. I'm putting on a show for all the kids there. I'm putting on a show for everybody You know there. why? Because the kids are scared. Yeah. Of That's your job, right? Well, it's, you know, people bring food to a party. I bring the fireworks. Oh, I see. It's part of the deal. Why don't you bring some food? Could somebody follow John? He's probably re yeah. responsible for half the fires. <laughs> Yeah, I will definitely get some videotape of John this week. Jack, do you enjoy it? What? Do you enjoy my fireworks? Be honest. I'm usually not done it. Oh, he's always No, he, he does bring a lot of stuff, and he's very generous. And it's funny, because like, I laid there with Jackie and White, and John, John i got to tell you the truth, me and Jackie laid there and just goofed on you the whole constantly. time. Constantly, and that's you all Jackie ever does It's like going to the circus. Fireworks. It's fun to watch the guy on the trapeze, but what are you hoping? Right. You're hoping he calls. He calls. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Because <laughs> Jackie was sitting there smoking one of his many joints going, all right. look at that idiot. That's how I watch your comedy shows, Jackie. Open your bomb. I know that's true, too. <laughs> All right, you got me. All right, go ahead, Ron. Enough already. Just be forewarned. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs>